Whether you love the series or hate it, you can't deny that it's been on a kill streak. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Call of Duty games. Target acquired. For this list, we're looking at the entire main canon of games from the popular first-person shooter series, and counting down to the best based on narrative, gameplay, multiplayer, and <laughs> changes to the genre. Pressure? Whoa, pressure. We're only focusing on the main entries in the series, so no luck for handheld spin-offs. Is everything ready? Do it. Number 10, Call of Duty 3. Hold this position! Kicking off our list is the third entry in the long-running franchise. While it did enjoy the same 60 FPS graphics and chaotic gameplay that the series boasts, it lacked several features enjoyed by some of its predecessors. Have a good nap, did we? Actually, we're gonna be honest with you guys, this game is only here because we had to fill something in the 10th spot. So if you don't mind, we'll transition into... The trucks are leaving the docks right now. Number nine, Modern Warfare 3. Rounding out the Modern Warfare trilogy was this 2011 entry. Trying to recapture Modern Warfare 2's lightning in a bottle, the campaign saw players navigating through World War III with a variety of jaw-dropping cinematic moments. Who doesn't remember seeing London attacked through a family's camcorder? Or the tragic end of Soap? Get a medic! Come on, stay with me, son! On the multiplayer side, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer pushed the fast pace of the online combat to go even faster by introducing a new fan favorite, Kill Confirmed. While in no way revolutionary, this solid entry helped cement the Modern Warfare legacy. Kill confirmed. Number 8, Advanced Warfare. So what's next for Jonathan Irons? Does power really change everything? You try stepping into the exosuit and tell us it doesn't. In an effort to make the series' ultra-fast gameplay even faster, Sledgehammer introduced the exosuit, allowing for new gameplay possibilities both on and offline. This, in turn, breathed a fair amount of vigor into a franchise that many believed to be stagnating. Coupled with an exciting narrative starring video game superstar Troy Baker and the legendary Kevin Spacey, you've got the closest thing the series has seen to a comeback since Modern Warfare. Pay your respects. Number seven, Black Ops 2. Sometimes it's too late to save a man. We must move out before we join him in death. Instead of jumping between the perspectives of different soldiers in a war, Black Ops 2 saw players jumping between father and son, the elder being a CIA agent in the Cold War during the 1980s, and the other fighting the Cold War 2.0 as China and the United States struggled for resources necessary for building drone weapons. Okay, coming around again. On top of rounding out Alex Mason's storyline from Black Ops, the new Pick 10 system in multiplayer gave players the freedom to customize their loadouts to an even greater extent. We've taken the lead. Number six, Call of Duty. Okay, move, Come move. On. Here it is, the game that started it all. A PC exclusive at launch, Call of Duty demonstrated the ability to orchestrate over-the-top set pieces better than any other shooter available at the time. While people like to ridicule the uselessness of Call of Duty squad mates in recent titles, the amazing feeling of being part of a dynamic, chattering squad in the first game was unmatched and truly impressive for 2003. Fun fact, the original working name for this game was Medal of Honor Killer. Safe to say, it did what it was intended to do. Number 5, World at War. World at War was just the right blend of intensity and bloodshed to get players to dust off the M1 Garands for the last time. Shoot through the damn war! Showcasing some of the most brutal moments of the Second World War, namely the US invasion of the Japanese islands and the Russian front pushing from Stalingrad to Berlin, the campaign was by far the most violent in the series to date, and it was also cemented by the talents of Kiefer Sutherland and Gary Oldman. Take my rifle and watch the road. On top of it all, it introduced us to one of the most popular side modes in video games ever, Nazi Zombies. Number 4, Modern Warfare 2. Bigger is the name of the game in Modern Warfare 2, as an in-your-face campaign was improved by some of the franchise's finest online multiplayer, only made better by the inspired map designs and customizable score streaks. The campaign stepped up how cinematic the games could get, taking the fight onto the doorsteps of the United States with a laundry list of jaw-dropping set pieces. 
many of them quite literally ripped from a certain Michael Bay film. The buzz that this game got may still have you talking for a while. Just remember, no Russian. Number 3, Call of Duty 2. The first of the franchise to hit consoles, Call of Duty 2 brought players across the battlefields of war-torn Europe and Africa, as players took control of different soldiers in different battles. Continuing to showcase the horrors of World War II, this entry brought in two of the series' most defining features, the nearby grenade indicator and the infamous regenerating health system. It was also the most popular launch title for the Xbox 360, so chances are if you bought one in the first year, you also had a copy of this. Number 2, Black Ops. Yankee 1 3, report. Just as series fatigue started to become a factor, Black Ops provided a fresh world to shooting fans, putting them in the shoes of CIA operative Alex Mason in the peak of the Cold War. I believe I'm correct in saying that civilization has been saved more than once in this room. This not only allowed for some tense missions as well as fantastically inspired multiplayer, but also gave the series some of its best narrative and mind-bending storytelling moments. It was made all the better by voice actors Sam Worthington, Ed Harris, and even Gary Oldman reprising his role from World at War. I know is The multiplayer also got one of its best maps in the series, with the introduction of Nuketown, which quickly became a fan favorite. Number 1. Modern Warfare No other entry was such a game changer for both online play and first person player narratives. Not just for the series, but for the genre as a whole. Rules of engagement, sir. Crew expendable. Single player was an accomplishment in and of itself. Whether it was sneaking past an armed battalion in a ghillie suit, or crawling from a wrecked helicopter after a nuclear bomb has gone off in your face, to simply dropping bombs from the safety of an AC-130, this was a benchmark in first-person narrative. Nice plate, this is Bravo 6. We've found it. And with the introduction of perks and killstreaks in multiplayer, Modern Warfare defined not only the franchise, but set the level to which all other first-person shooters would be compared to for the rest of the generation. Target acquired. I have a positive ID on Emron's AKF. Do you agree with our list? Which Call of Duty game did you get the most mileage out of? Why can't you remember? For more intense top 10s published daily, Ramirez, subscribe to watchmojo.com. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted.